Welcome to Anthony's Cross Thread Garage. I have done a bunch of recording on this. There's no, I did a bunch of work on it. And nothing was recording for my voice. So that's good. But as you can see, the frame's painting. I've had a C notch for my steering rack on both sides for clearance. I got the gussets welded in. I got the tires welded in. Now I'm gonna start assembling the front suspension so I can clean my garage because I am moving my shed tomorrow. And upon moving the shed, I got a new project on top of my transmission being done for the Rambler and me needing to work on the transmission on my speed truck. So, there's a lot of stuff to do, but we're going to go ahead and assemble this Mustang 2 front end. It's welded. It's done. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. First thing I got to do is make room to work. We get to assemble these brakes, rotors. Yeah. All right. So now I got to take my steering or steering. <laughs> We gotta take my rotor back off my knuckle. Nice handle jacking your video shot. Bless your heart. And get the bracket on that attaches to the. I do declare, now smudge some grease on your lens too. It attaches onto the steering rack. And get my caps on there and everything else too. Of course, in normal form, I've got horrible instructions, even for the steering knuckle. I'm so proud you can even read. Hey, my springs. <laughs> All right, look at my vague instructions. I don't know which side's up. I got to get on this way. This goes on there uh, this way. Then I just bolt it down. Simple. Rawr. Now since this is all great Chinese hardware, I'm gonna use plenty of Loctite, the red stuff. This is your steering. Let alone my bad welds if we don't want to bolt back at all. So this is for my tie rod to hook onto. Oh man, if we get this locked out here. Yeah. You have been making videos for a year. I would think your camera angles would be better. Bless your heart. How is that supposed to work? This kit is a pile of shit. Lord have mercy, I am struggling with this, folks. This whole thing's been a struggle. That's no way that goes like that. So, instructions are wrong. That's good. That's what you expect when you spend the money I did. When everything to be wrong and false. Seems like Tony is madder than a wet hand. The instructions say, full round rotor and a two inch drop spinner and pitcher. The soft high spindle will appear different, but the symbol is the same. I say lies. Unless there's a different spacer here that I am overlooking. I'm thinking if I lose a spacer, maybe. Let's try that. That's better. Not really sure what that spacer is for. I don't understand it at all. But it's bowled up tight and good. The 
power rod bracket and the caliper brackets on good, so there it is. Now, so trying to put in the the caliper and the brakes and everything on there right now. Now comes the fun part because there's no instructions on how to assemble these struts either. Well, that's right in my shot. Bless your heart, sweetie. You found it on your own. Another thing, going back to China. That's this is just a cheap set. The struts on a whole piece. It's all screwed together, which is pretty chintzy, in my opinion. Like I said, that's why I got the big bottle of Loctite. And we're going to be liberal with it. I did have all my cute little wrenches out, but... I'm about ready to stop this project and clean everything up. Well, honey, grab a broom. I don't see one of my crescent wrenches. I literally was just using. I brought back inside. <laughs> Jackass. All right, let's tighten this down. I don't know how tight I can get. Well damaging something. That's pretty tight. Of course the nonsense don't stop there. I should have bought this in a gallon jug so I should have done. There we go. Tight. Safe. Quality. Yeah. Of course, that's going to adjust your cool once we get up in there. First, let's get over. Let's install the control arm. Oh, before I do that. Never mind, I already got this pack clear full of Loctite on the ball joint because the ball joint's just thread right in. You're grunting like Pat Pat Melvin. All right, lower control arm installed. Moving over to our cool levers. These, I'm not sure how fun they are gonna be installed. Qual quality crap right here. Oh, look, somebody didn't bring the nut. That's good. That strut is hanging longer than my divorced husband. Yeah. All right, McPherson strut assembly's installed. Let's see if we can get this lower control arm hooked up. There you go, a few droplets on our boat for our Threat. Run her in there a little bit. About a little bit, I mean all the way! I believe I ain't want to bring the jack over here. I push this up so we can actually get the top. Let's go ahead and get our upper control arm on. Got 
Got my boot installed. And of course a bunch of Loctite. All oh, these bolt joints, you gotta thread them in. Cause you know, I'm trying to high quality, but she is. Just take your high dollar ball joint. That's probably gonna fail after a thousand miles. And screw it in. Well, I ain't gonna screw it in cause I got a bunch of these metal keepers here. Anyway, yeah, thread your ball joint in. I really don't know where I'm losing all these tools at. Everything's just strung out everywhere. All right, here's a pipe wrench. Let's use it. There, ball joint's tight. Take it back to the car. Well, now you only see me take these on and off a hundred times. Let's see how easy it is with a spring in it. I didn't think about that part. Johnny. Now these have actual nylon locks. Oh, they've been on and off so many times. I think they're gonna get a dab of hold them tight juice. You can see what I'm doing? Heck no. I tried to take this out to get the boot back in there, but I got it already locked just up. I think the other side might be loose where I can actually do that. It should be fine. Get my knuckle on there. Of course, get these high dollar pieces of pipe you gotta put on there with it. Go ahead and torque it to the specs. Well, she's torqued. Yeah, a little further than I thought I was going to, though. This high dollar setup. Oh, well, spring's fully seated. Upper ball joint's installed. But she is binding something fierce. Can't really tighten up that ball joint and stuff because everything's on such an extreme angle right now because I don't have no weight in the front end. I try to jack it up and compress it. It won't compress. Let's go ahead and get that rotor back on. I'll put new bearings in. I like to run these in pretty tight. Move a little bit. And back it off. About zero torque on it. Castle walk on there. <laughs> I 
work either. She's on there. I'm actually going to use my socket to beat my dust cap on. Since it's brand new. There. Dust cap's on. No damage. Now to know which side your caliper is left to right. When you work on these super Chinese kits or your super Chinese parts store. Bleeder always got to be at the top of the caliper when it's mounted. Hey. Brakes installed. Well, we got this nonsense done on this side. I'm not going to make you watch it twice. I'll go ahead and get the other side done. I'll bring you back in. We'll get this steering rack in there. Then the basis of this Mustang 2 front end should be done. And then it's on to mounting the engine and the five speed transmission it never had. Cool. Sweeter than stolen honey. All right. All right, got the front end all back together. As you can see down there, it's all in. It's finally in. For the love of God. I do declare. Freaking Studebakers and Ramblers and this nonsense I got. You gotta do a little custom work. That's all right. Now, we'll go ahead and set the rack in here. Racks in. Really can't adjust my angle right now because it's not sitting at ride height. There she is. Done. Ish. Manish. Now I gotta work on mounts for the motor and cut a hole in the floor. Alright, but it's been a big struggle, a bunch of learning. But the front end is in. I'm hopefully everything looks good, everything went together good. There's plenty of room, everything's solid. There's gussets and braces everywhere. So now I need to jack this thing up so I can start getting this motor in and start cutting a hole in the floor. And get ready to figure out how I'm gonna mount the third fun pedal. But I gotta clean up. That's a mess. See ya. Life is older, older than the trees. Younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze. Country road, taking me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, oh, take me home. Counter rule.